After the last update, the Warzone meta is kinda undetermined, but it has not always been the case. So let's revisit the three most overpowered guns that were once the Warzone meta and made the average Jimmy break five controllers. The R9 or Doof Doof was once the best shotgun Warzone had to offer. A quick fire rate making it a quick firing shotgun, kind of like the origin. Its dragon breath rounds made it the most broken weapon of the game at the time and was probably the cause of multiple keyboard and controllers massacre. Take a good shotgun that shoots thermite rounds and you get an idea of how annoying this shotgun was. The 357 Magnums. I could have mentioned the Diamatis, but used with snake shots and the Akimbo perk, these guys were broken. The time to kill was close to zero. Getting a lot of frags was made way much easier with this meta and didn't even require you to have a great aim, which was perfect for all the average teamies out there. Of course, I don't forget the Bruin and the Growl. Those two guns were OP. They had an extra low to zero recoil, making them deadly from mid to long range. But compared to the gun that's coming in first place, you just can't compare. The DMR-14. That gun was probably the most overpowered and dominating weapon ever used in Warzone history. Prove me wrong. Let me know in the comments which gun do you think belongs to first place. That thing was shredding and did not leave you any chance of getting out of a fight alive. The addition of Cold War weapons brought a lot of new performance guns, but the DMR was at the top of the list. And for a long time, that thing never got nerfed, ever. Coupled with a properly built Mac-10, lobbies were not easy easy to fight. And to be honest, I was not a big fan of this DMR meta. This was episode 1 of Trilogy, so if you want to see more episodes, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel.